Hi, good morning. Welcome to the ninth lecture on topology. This is going to be the first lecture on closed sets, which we are going to introduce now. And as usual, we will look at our examples and try to find some closed sets so that you become very confident about that. Okay, so let us get started. Yeah. The reference are as earlier, so I do not say anything more about it. Okay, so let X this be a, a topological space, and let A be a subset of X. Okay, then I say A is closed in in the space X tau in X or in tau if the complement x, x difference a which is a complement is open okay this is the definition okay nothing can be simpler than this yeah so the only way i would recognize a closed set is I look for yeah it's okay yeah look for its complement if, if i know it's open then that's it then it's closed so let us look at there is a very beautiful characterization how to look for closed sets, but I will come to that little later. But let's look at easy example. Okay, suppose X tau is a topological space, right? Now let's look at empty set. Is it uh, closed? Why? Because its complement is all of X that's in tau, and similarly, the full set X is closed. Because its complement is empty set, that's in tau. Therefore, in a in any topological space, we know that the empty set and the full set are closed. Okay. Now let's look at a few examples. Right? Let's look at uh, discrete topology. Okay. X with the D. Some of this comma comes here. Okay. Tau D as usual is discrete topology. Okay. Then let A be any subset. What do you know about A B? Do you remember that? We know A is closed. Sorry, A is open. Right? Because Tau D is nothing other than P of X. Right? So what does it immediately say? It says that every set is also closed. Yeah, because what is a complement? That's also in tau. Because since a complement, you understand. Therefore, the discrete topology is the, in some sense, the most lenient, most generous one. What does it mean? Every set, every subset, is both open and closed. Right. Now let's look at the indiscrete topology. Okay. Indiscrete. Now there are only two. Okay. Now suppose I take a B. Suppose I take a, a proper subset A of X. Yeah. Then what do you know about A? A complement will also be proper subset. Do you realize that? It's not empty set. It's also proper subset of X. Are you sure? Because A is not equal to X, therefore A complement cannot be empty. And A is not equal to empty, therefore A complement cannot be all of X. Yeah? Right. Now what does tau I consist of? The indiscrete topology consists of only two elements. So what does it mean? So, yeah, any proper subset of X is neither open nor closed in indiscrete topology. Right? Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Suppose I have N with a cofinite topology. So, right now you give me a subset A of n. Okay, 
Yeah, suppose assume A is closed. What does it mean? A complement is in tau CF. So what is tau CF consist of? Empty set or only those sets which whose complement is finite. You understand that? Yeah. So I want A complement to be finite. So if A complement is empty set, then that means A is all of X. Therefore, that's closed. We already know. Therefore, let's assume as usual this is the important case always so let us assume this right therefore a complement again as usual a complement is not equal to empty set that's a proper subset of n yeah okay now suppose a is closed okay now what do i know about a complement okay it has to be open if a complement is open, what does it say? That means, since a is a proper subset, okay, that means a complement is finite. Right? So, if a complement is finite, therefore, what does it say? A. A is a cofinite set. Oh, sorry. Am I getting confused? Yeah. A complement is open. That means a complement. No, no, a complement is open. That means, sorry, I made a mistake. A complement is open. That means a complement complement. That is a is open. Okay, finite. Right. Therefore, what have we concluded? Okay. If I have a proper subset of natural numbers under cofinite topology, a closed implies a is finite do you agree with that yeah i'm sorry if i goofed because sometimes my focus is lost as it happens to all of us are you following let me go back if you want let me assume a is a proper subset of x when i say proper subset it's not empty it's not x Right, suppose it's closed. That means a complement. That's also a proper subset. So your complement is open. A complement is open. It's a proper subset of a, a x. Okay, that means it must be finite. Right? A com a complement is open. That means the complement a complement must be finite. That is a is finite. Okay. Please go through it. So let us go to the next example. R with cofinite co countable topology. The argument is exactly similar, but let's look at some simple examples. Is Q closed? Okay, to check this is closed, what do I have to check? I have to check R minus Q whether this is open. Okay, when is this open? If only if its complement Q is countable. Therefore, okay, what do I conclude? I conclude Q is closed. You follow that? Now, can you generalize this kind of argument? It's exactly similar to the earlier one. So, what can I do? If A is a countable subset of R, then A is closed because A complement is open. Since A is countable, therefore the complement A complement is open, right? Since A complement is open, yeah, right. Do you follow that? Now let's come to our uh, VAP topology. Suppose R with the. I don't know why all the time my comma comes at the wrong place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy now. Okay, tau V is the VAP topology, zero is the VAP. Right? Now let's look at. So, do you remember if I take any subset U? Oh, subset of R. Okay, as as usual, let's assume 
okay right u is a subset of r then when u is in top v if only 0 belong to tau v. sorry 0 belong to u right okay so now it's very clear can you say suppose i have a non empty subset a proper subset of r when is a closed notice that a common will also be proper subset of r and that means that must be in open that means zero must be there therefore this is equal only zero is not in a pause review proceed so i always will avoid i will take only proper subsets because the other two, other two extremes the extremes empty set and the full space are always both open and close so they are not of interest to us okay so suppose a is a proper subset of r suppose it's closed that means a complement is open but a complement is open means zero belong to a complement this is same saying zero is not in a yeah okay i am sure all of you now can guess what is the next question what is the next example did you guess r is outcast of poly and 0 equal to out, is the outcast yeah now what do I know about this so again let's look at so suppose so when is u open if only if 0 is not in u therefore when is a closed a again same A is closed, that means A complement must be open, that means 0 is not there, that means 0 is in A. Do you, do you understand this? Yeah, if 0 is in A, what does that mean? 0 is not in A complement. Yeah, okay, pause, review, proceed. Now let's go to the next example, eighth example. That is R with the tau L, the lower limit to poly. Right? So in this case, we had already seen look at any interval of this kind AB. Okay, this is both open and call this as A or U and A equal to U complement that is minus infinity to a union union b to infinity we know if this is open this also open and then this is open right since this is open that means this is closed do you understand that so all the simplest open sets these are called basic open sets but let's that word i have not used Simplest open sets in lower limit topology are both open and close. Yes. Okay. Now, can you think of some more examples? Yeah. For example, let me look at minus infinity to a. Is this closed? Are you in towel? Because what is complement? And I know this is open. Do you remember that? Because this is a. So for a take anything and for any of these things you can take this okay therefore for each x in this a complement there exists one of the simplest open set containing the given point and containing a infinity we had already seen it when we introduced the topology right so this is open therefore this is closed why am i contrasting this remember this is open in tau u but not close 
and tau u the usual topology on r why we get the complement a complement as a infinity okay and this is not open in tau u we had seen all these examples okay so i'm just repeating so i have a and from here it is going to if it has to be open and a has to be an element a is an element of a complement therefore i should be able to find an open interval a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon that should be contained in this which is not true right for example why it's not true look at this point a minus epsilon by 2 that belongs to the interval but that's not in the interval a to infinity because a minus epsilon is strictly less than a do you follow that so so this something is open but this is this something this interval minus infinity to a the so called open interval right <laughs> okay is not open in the lower limit topology it's closed in the lower limit topology yeah please pay attention go through that argument again now let's go come to r with the usual topology so we had already seen examples of topological spaces so that there exists proper subsets okay so that a is both open and closed right both sorry both open and closed so i can ask question does there exist okay a a subset of r so that a proper set so that a is open as well as closed how many of you can answer this question if you had been alert if you have learned the last uh, lecture 8 I proved it I proved what did I prove I proved that if a is a non-empty set so that a is both open and close implies a is all of r okay this was proved in lecture 8 I hope you remember that otherwise I'm sad okay you follow that yeah so in other words the only sets which are both open and close in R with the usual topology are the empty set and the conclusion keep that in mind therefore the only sets which are both open and closed in the standard topology or the usual topology on R are empty set and R. Okay, and so let us go to the next example. Suppose XD is a matrix space. Do you remember we in my lectures on metric space I proved BXR and a open ball is an open set. Now I can ask a similar question. If I take closed ball, this is my notation, this may not be standard. Okay. Uh, let me call it A. Okay. Set of all X in capital X such that distance between X and A is less than or equal to R. Okay, I can ask whether is this closed closed ball closed is the question clear open ball open ball we have a definition of open set just because open ball has open adjective you cannot conclude it's an open set we have to prove that similarly the closed ball it's our definition of a closed ball okay the adjective is closed but that's not enough i have to prove it's a closed set if i have to, if i have to say it's a closed set what do you think i have to prove 
I have to prove the complement of the closed ball is open set. Okay, please internalize this kind of thing. Okay, so you should you should not get mesmerized by the English language. Okay, so let us look at a picture, and I I would like you to go through the proof how we proved an open ball is an open set. Okay, it's a similar argument is what we are going to use. So I will be slightly faster. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Okay, if you are in doubt, go back to this open ball is an open set. Understand the proof well and come back and go through this video again and fill out fill in the gaps. Okay. Right. So this is my AX. Okay. And this is my open ball. Close ball. This is my A, this is my R. Right. So what am I given? I am given an X okay in where so let u be equal to capital X minus B X or B A or so what do I have to show I want to show you is open right now do you recall my trade secret what did I say the trade secret is to prove yes it is open what do I do give me any X then I have to find a, a simplest to open set containing X. Okay. Right. And so that that simplest to open set is contained in U. Do you understand that? Recall that trade secret. So, so I have to find and what is the simplest to open set? Namely, some open set we have except silent. So therefore x belong to that but that should be contained in x minus b a r what does this mean this is same as saying i have to find an epsilon now you see that this is where the kind of thing that means what is that you have to do that means we have to find epsilon positive so that b x epsilon and this open ball is completely contained in the complement which is same as saying the intersection is empty okay this is how you solve the problem right try to understand and try to internalize and modify it in your own language then you understand how to do that yeah so i want to show this is not empty okay the, the, i have to find epsilon so that this open ball okay can you see that this ball and this closed ball this is an open ball if you want to do i have to write it as a dot 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 kind of thing okay the open ball this is BXR. Close ball is this one. Yeah. This is this is BX epsilon. This is BR. Okay. I hope I mean all of you understand. I don't want you to just time on such things. But anyway, since now that I have done, let me write it carefully. Okay, right. So I can immediately write if you have understood the thing you can see this distance here. Okay. So what do I know about X is not in B A R X is in the complement saying X is not in B R. This means distance between X and A, call it R, this R must be strictly greater than R. Right? If it is less than I could R, it is going to be there. Right? So now this this is your R. right so now if you have gone through my earlier thing as i said open ball is an open set you know so what do i do i take epsilon to be less than r minus r this epsilon will do okay you can check it but i will do it in a slightly different way so that you will understand i want to find okay i do not know assume such an epsilon exists right find an epsilon okay Let's assume that there is a thing which is common to Bx epsilon intersection BAR. Right? I want to understand what does it mean. Therefore, okay, I want to arrive at a contradiction. What is the contradiction? Now I can, this is epsilon. Okay, therefore the distance between Z and X is less than epsilon and distance between Z and A is less than or equal to R. Right? I have to choose epsilon. You understand so that no such z can exist okay 
anyway i decided to give the proof let me just think about okay so what do you do you try to show this is x this is a right your z is common okay and therefore what do i do i look at the distance so let us do i draw a different picture so i have this and i have this and this is my x this is my a this is my z so this is x this is a this is perhaps z you understand so i can use a triangle equality right so let us try to do that therefore distance between x and a is less than or equal to distance between x and z and plus distance between z and a you understand that but that's strictly less than epsilon plus r are you following because this fellow first term is strictly less than epsilon the second fellow will be less than or equal to r therefore the sum will be strictly less than epsilon plus r but what is this this is r therefore what should be my epsilon my epsilon plus r right you follow that should be less than r if only if epsilon that means if epsilon is less than r minus r then there could be a possible intersection therefore what should i choose now go back do you see what i wrote f yeah epsilon plus r should be then there is a possible intersection uh, did you understand this so this means r is strictly less than epsilon plus r that means epsilon is greater than r minus r so to avoid this what should i do i should choose epsilon plus r should be less than r that means epsilon should be less than r minus r do you understand okay pause review proceed so what have we shown we have shown any closed ball is closed all right okay now let us see whether the, what are the other things i can talk about i think i have done almost all the thing ah we also introduce ray topology right yeah right right i forgot about that let me do that yeah see sometime i, I do not remember this so let us look at r with the tau ray ray topology right so what are the uh, basic open set basic meaning simplest open sets are of the form right so this consists of empty set and r all sets of the form ua where ua is this okay because some student said i forgot to write i never said it's a topology yeah i only said check whether it's a topology but just before that i did with n similar right topology on n anyway okay now let us look at is minus infinity to a okay suppose a is a real number okay is this closed what is its complement its complement is a to infinity this is my a a complement is this is this open because if this is open what should happen for this a okay there should be some open set be, some let us call it ub so that a must be in ub when a is in ub if b is strictly less than a you understand that so that means ub should start from here yeah so this is not closed yeah do you understand okay now let me ask is this closed let if this is closed what should happen a complement minus infinity a should be open tau a is it true no because let us take a minus 1 this is my a 
a minus 1 that's a point here and say if this is open then there should be a ub so that a minus 1 belong to ub that means again as usual b must be in less than a minus 1 that means there should be a b this should be there right that's not true no, I just wanted to play with it. None of these things will be, you know, you don't know to remember. Okay, this mistake many students do. Whatever they want to learn, they think they have to remember that. That's not correct. All these things we are kind of playing with notions so that we become confident at any given time. I can play with it and find and discover the result on my own. That is what you, is more important. So that is why please pay attention to what I am saying. Think along with me. Okay, do not worry about this. If you keep on doing, you will see all these things become child's play for you later. Right? Okay. Now, let me ask some very general questions. Suppose, X is a set. I have two topologies such that tau 2 is finer than tau 1. Okay? Now, what are the things you can say? So what does it mean if u is tau 1 open that implies u is tau 2 open right that's why the meaning of tau 2 is final right now suppose a is tau 1 closed what does that mean that means a complement is tau 1 open that in turn means a complement is tau 2 open that in turn says a is Tau to closed. You understand this? Yeah. So what does it say? So right. So if a C one denote the class of closed sets. in tau 1 and see i tau i i equal to 1 to 2 okay see so is a class of tau 1 tau i closed sets right then what did we find c1 is also contained in e2 right tau 1 contained in tau 2 implies this you can ask uh, an obvious question ask the obvious question And answer. I am not going to answer that. Okay. Right. Now, I want to. Okay. Before I go to something, I want to ask. Suppose I have a set X is tau is a topological space. So this is actually what I am going to do for the rest of today's lecture another 5 to 10 minutes maximum is essentially logical thinking. Okay. Try to stop but each time you have difficulty in following me and think about or re re review the video, review the video and then again do. Okay. Please try to think along. Okay. Suppose I say yes it is. Okay. Yes. A is a subject. What does it mean to say A is not closed? okay meaning how what do i mean by saying a is not closed okay of course the definition that means a comma is not open am i right so i have this i have a okay so i have x here Right? If A complement is not open, what does it mean? This is where you will have difficulty. Once you figure this out, you will see a lot of things follow quickly. Suppose think of this as a metric space. Okay, I am just giving a hint. Think of X as a metric space now, not necessarily an arbitrary tubular space. So if I say A complement is not open, immediately you will think of something. What does it mean? When do I say this is open? Give me any x. Okay. 
then there is an open ball containing this right which is contained in a complement right if a complement is open then for every x in the a complement this must happen now i say a complement is not open so what should what does it mean give me any x and any open ball centered x that is for any r positive bxr is not completely contained in a complement that means bxr will always intersect a have you understood so here it means in this case okay special case it means there exists an x in a complement so that for every r positive bxr is not contained in a complement that is same as saying bxr intersects a do you understand okay pause okay this th this thinking will really help you how to tackle lot of problems with closed sets in future okay master this well just the theorems alone uh, do not make the bread okay we need lot of nutrients okay so so in the general case then now x tau is a top loyal space okay and a is not closed if one only you a complement is not open okay therefore based on that i am saying there exists an x in a complement so that uh, for every open set or only you okay u so containing x we have u is not containing a complement or u intersection a is not empty right why please think this this is why i said it's a logical thing okay it, it's a negation call this as a statement it's a negation negation of star is this what does it say for all x in a complement okay there exists at least one open set u containing x so that u is contained in a complement call it ux u is contained in a complement what does it mean this is our recipe or secret trade secret to prove u complement is open sorry a complement is open a complement therefore is going to be ux x in a complement and ux are open which contains x and it is contained in a complement and union of open set therefore is open you understand that therefore if this is not open a c is not open that means there exists an x in a complement okay go back to the picture there is an x complement okay now how should it look pictorially yeah. you understand we'll uh, okay the pictorially should look like this this is my x and this is my a and this may be like my x so whatever neighborhood i take however small i take okay that neighborhood that open set containing x always intersects a okay so i want you to think review, review this review the last few minutes okay and this is essentially exercise in logic okay please understand okay pause we will proceed i hope you enjoyed this and in the next lecture we'll continue with this okay what this really means okay such point six are very important okay we will try to understand them better but go through all these 12 examples i had given master and most important the last five minutes revise at least twice or thrice if you get confused discuss with your friends okay we will meet again till then take care and stay safe